This year, the human population pushed past 6.5 billion. 153 people are born every minute. As more people use up more of the planet, there is a sometimes deadly price to pay. February 17th, 2006, Philippines. A huge mudslide strikes the village of Ginsaugan. A gaping scar on the mountainside hints at the scale of the tragedy. Ginsaugan is a farming community of around 1,400 residents with 200 or so pupils in its primary school. Its name hides a clue to the disaster. Ginsaugan comes from a local word used by illegal loggers, meaning to pull logs. Like many places in the Philippines, the slopes above the village were heavily logged, destabilizing the mountainside. Three months' rain in a single week pulled the trigger. Over 26 million cubic yards of mud, enough to fill an Olympic-sized stadium 19 times, tore through the village, burying the school under 100 feet of debris. Rescuers fought for days to find survivors, but over 900 people were lost. Sometimes the burden of overpopulation is tragically obvious, and at others, it's almost invisible. June 9th, 2006, Germany. 4.2 million soccer fans arrived for the 2006 FIFA World Cup. This is the greenest World Cup in history, but hosting 64 matches and transporting millions of fans still pumps around 100,000 tons of climate-changing carbon dioxide into the air. Organizers knew this would happen. They also knew there was only so much they could do about it, at least in Germany. What they could do was pay to cut carbon emissions somewhere else. This is called a carbon offset. V. Ramanathan. But the German Soccer Federation, to offset the greenhouse emissions during the Soccer World Cup this year, contributed to biogas generation in my home state in India of Tamil Nadu. That's exactly the type of thing we should be doing. Biogas generation is a simple, slightly foul-smelling technology, but it reduces carbon dioxide emissions. Take cow dung, mix with water, let it ferment, and pipe the resulting gas to cooking stoves. There's another positive effect. Fewer trees are cut for firewood and there's less harmful smoke from cooking fires. Over the next decade, the biogas generators will cut around 30,000 tons of carbon dioxide. That offsets nearly one-third of the World Cup's total emissions. As world population climbs, our rate of consumption goes right with it. Offsets can balance the effects, like a long walk after a big meal. Putting the world on a diet could dramatically improve the health of the planet, and it could actually help save some of the Earth's wildlife.